Hey everyone, this is Steven from Martech Wiz. In this video, we're going to go over the Instapage landing page builder tool. Now, Instapage is focused specifically on landing pages, so there's not going to be a whole lot of extra bells and whistles. And that's probably one of the reasons that they have one of the best tools and the best drag and drop editor in the industry. When you couple this with their top tier design templates and uh, their stock of features, they're easily one of the top landing page tools. They came in fourth in our landing page rankings with a great score of 8.5 out of 10 overall. And really the only reason why they aren't higher is because they're priced slightly higher based on the SaaS monthly model. And being a larger brand, um, they are priced a little in the premium side. But when you look at just the tool, they can really go toe to toe with any competitor out there. So let's go ahead and take you into Instapage. Here's the dashboard so you can see a little bit about how it is to use it and what functionality it has. Um, the dashboard itself is very simple and very clean, so there's really not a whole lot of clutter. And you have some options here, you have all your pages, but really um, it's as simple as mainly um, a way to look at all your pages and then start to create a new page, which we'll do now. This brings you to the template screen. So this is going to have a bunch of different templates. You can sort it by different types of um, conversion goals, uh, but really you can use any type of uh, template for any purpose. And you'll see here they have just fabulous design templates. Clean, modern, most of them have full width images. They're always adding new ones. Um, so they just do a wonderful job with design. Um, they give you a lot of choices as well. I believe they have over 150 different templates. And if you can't see one here, which I don't think that's going to be a problem, but if you don't see one here that suits you, there's also uh, some paid templates on Theme Forest, which you can grab for typically around, I think, 10 to $20. So let's go ahead and uh, preview some of these and uh, see how they look. So you can preview them in a full screen like almost any other tool, but what is the nice thing is that you can actually scroll through all the, this says 144 templates, and uh, it's a great way to, without, um, without any difficulty, without any time lag of going back and forth, um, it's a great way to preview through all of the different landing page templates. And this is a feature that we haven't seen in uh, we don't believe any other tools, so just a great way to scroll through all the different um, templates instead of having to look at them in a thumbnail or in an image that's a little larger but not full screen. So let's go ahead and pick this, edit the page, and this will, after we name it, will take us directly into the editor. So the nice thing about the editor is it's essentially a full screen editor. The only part that disrupts the canvas is a, a toolbar on the top. There's no side toolbars, there's no multiple um, toolbars on the top, nothing on the bottom. They give you tons of real estate for the canvas to make the changes to the template as you like. So that's always a good thing to have. Um, it's also fantastically designed in the sense that there's tons of options in Instapage, but they really tuck it into just a few different buttons and they do a really good job in uh, a minimalistic design that's very clean but still powerful in terms of a lot of different options that you can take advantage of. Um, so basically a quick walkthrough of the editor. You have uh, the home button goes back to the dashboard, A-B testing here. You can toggle through mobile and desktop view. And then most of what you're going to be using is the settings and the add new uh, buttons. So settings, as it sounds like, is a lot of the um, things like background, fonts, um, meta title, meta description for SEO, things like um, analytics scripts and HTML containers. And if you want to add any elements, you just simply go to add new, and that brings a very easy, easy, non-cramped, comfortable view of all the different main elements that you can do. So section, headline, Paragraph, which, which is text, image and video, button and form, shapes, a Google map, social buttons, a countdown timer, and another HTML container option here. 
in general, the editor is very easy to use, and the main reason is because it's the best type of ed editor, which is a pixel precise drag and drop editor. So what does that mean? That means you can move elements anywhere onto the canvas. They don't have to fit into a box or a column like other dra drag and drop editors. They can overlap if you want to do that, no problem. Um, they also, unlike not every editor, they have an uh, undo. So say, for example, I didn't want to size that so big, or I want to redo the size very big. You can go ahead and click that button, and it's not the fastest undo but uh, or redo, but it does have that functionality. Um, it also has great alignment tools. So basically, you'll see these green lines appear whenever you are centered, whether it's um, center aligned, right aligned to a certain element, or left aligned as well. So that's a really nice feature, and especially an important feature when you're doing a drag and drop editor, because all that freedom you have, you have more leeway in terms of movement, but that also creates um, a situation where you could be uh, have items slightly misaligned. So that's really good to have. You can also group items as well. So let's show you an example of this. Maybe you want to group this, this, and this. And then you can move them as a group. You know, I don't think we quite got that in there, but you get the point. So let's ungroup that. And in addition, let's talk about some of the different options they have from uh, functionality and features point of view. So different things you can do, the basics of course, text, headlines, image, and videos. Let's show you how, let's first of all add a new section. You can just basically click the section button and then add one wherever you want. So um, with a button, of course, you can do any text or styling changes here, like any other tool. Um, but they have a lot of great options in terms of linking out. So you can link the button or a form also for that matter to, of course, another URL, but also to another landing page, to a pop-up for a two-step opt-in, and we'll show you how that works, to an on-page link, which is similar to an anchor link, or even to a file download. So that's basically digital asset management where you can upload a digital asset such as a ebook or a PDF report. And then when someone fills out a form or clicks a button, you have the option of having them download that form um, right in the landing page because it's uploaded in the Instant Page system. So a very, very nice option there. But let's go ahead and show you the pop-up form. So basically it just gives you a blank canvas to work on. And then you would simply add any um, elements you want. So you might add a headline, let's say a countdown timer, and a form. So this is of course easy to use, but it would be better if they had pre-designed forms and pre-designed um, pop-ups and also buttons. Um, if you are not strong in the design aspect of things, then this is just a way that you might not get uh, the best branding or the best look to match your landing page. And um, some other tools out there do have several different types of pre-designed templates that look really great. And we think that's uh, a way that um, Instapage could improve by basically, you know, give you a blank canvas option as well, but also have maybe 20, 30 different options, or even five to 10 different options of pre-designed forms and pre-designed buttons and pop-ups. So you can just have those in there, they're professionally designed and you don't have to worry about it. The countdown timer is a good option, but this countdown timer does not have the ability to take dynamic actions. So what that means is that when it hits zero, it cannot, perform a actions such as take you to another URL, maybe show an element, provide you the ability to download an item. So it's a simple countdown timer, and when it goes down to zero, it's not gonna be able to take some actions like we see in some other tools. So the nice thing about Instapage is it comes with a free image library stocked with 
many, many different um, high definition pictures that you can put in the background typically or the background for a section or anywhere else you would want. Um, if you don't find anything you like here, they also have a purchase section through Big Stock, which they partner with, and they just have tons of different other different um, elements here, and you can search, and it's a very efficient search. And then let's see how much these cost. So five dollars for this picture um, for a fairly high definition, um, sixteen hundred wide pixel picture. Now some features that they do have is are only for premium accounts. So for example, like create an A-B test that is going to be only in the professional and premium plans. Also chat is only for premium accounts. Uh, the ability to do a raw JavaScript container and also certain integrations are also only for premium accounts. So most of the integrations, of course, are for all accounts. And here is a list of all the integrations. They do a fabulous job. Um, they're one of the biggest names in the industry. So you're going to see they basically integrate with almost any other tool that you would see that integrate with others. Um, something like Zapier is a great integration to have because that will connect you up to the 500 apps that Zapier in its app connects to. So that provides you a lot of flexibility there. And even if it doesn't directly integrate, um, since it has the HTML containers, if you have an HTML embed code or form, you can just put that into the HTML widget. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the difference between that HTML container and this one is. But in the standard version, you do have the regular HTML. And you can just put it in there and integrate kind of in a workaround way that way as well. So what are some things that we would, would like to see? One is uh, timed and exit pop-ups. So while they have the two-step opt-in that they call a pop-up, it's more like a light box that brings up a form, there's no way to have timed pop-ups, whether it's timed or scrolled, so that they automatically appear. Um, there's no way to also do that on exit intent. Now you can do that through custom code, um, but you know if you have to do it in code for all intents and purposes, it's not an option in the tool because one of the core tenets of landing page builders is you shouldn't have to use code. Um, some fairly minor things, but it would be nice to have that they don't have is true animated parallel effects. So you can do a fixed effect on the background image. So let's see if we can do that here. You see right now the image moves along with the text. And if you click parallax, even though we don't think it's true parallax, it's fixed now. So if it was true parallax, it would be it would scroll in the background, but just at a slightly slower rate than the foreground, creating a 3D image effect. Um, so this really we would call it fixed. You also have image overlay color option too that you can do for background images. So a really nice feature option that they have there. And a nice positioning tool too for background images especially. Sometimes it's tough to position it. Um, and this is a good way to make sure you have the best angle for your image. Um, in addition, things we would like to see that they don't have is an icon library. So these icons are actually just regular images. Um, a lot of tools, the icons are part of a larger icon library, and you can change them out for very lightweight um, icons that um, ha seem to almost have options for any icon you would ever need. So having a free icon library would definitely be a big improvement. That, in addition to some of the dynamic countdown timer actions are things that we think uh, could be improved. So let's see how it deals with mobile responsiveness. So let's add some funky images and see if it can handle it. Okay, so let's just put this image, I don't know, up here, kind of overlapping things. And, well, we have this button. Maybe we'll move that to the side. 
add a headline over here and let's put the mobile first we'll save it and let's see how it handles uh, the responsiveness of this page of course any template off the bat is going to be mobily responsive but you're going to need to make changes so look at that it did a perfect job in terms of aligning it mobile responsive it didn't overlap anything even though it was overlapping in the main screen it stacked it perfectly same thing with the headline and the button um, there's a little space here so you can kind of clean that up no problem but um, it has everything looking good for mobile responsiveness publishing options so with publishing you can publish in um, many different ways so all of the main ways that you would expect in a top tier landing page builder so you can do it a custom domain whether on your own site or if you have a WordPress site they have a plugin for that Drupal um, you can plug publish it as a Facebook page and you can um, also publish it on the insta page um, subdomain now in terms of plans and pricing now it only shows annual pricing on the public pricing sheet and that's why I wanted to take you to another view they don't show any monthly pricing options um, I'm not sure why but you see this is 29 a month paid annually which doesn't make any sense so it's going to be an upfront payment of around um, $300 but when you go inside the dashboard and let's say you upgrade and it shows you the pricing here now you'll see you can toggle between monthly and annually so the true monthly cost if you go to month to month without any long-term um, agreement is going to be $39 a month the nice thing is all plans come with unlimited pages visitors and domains and the basic plan um, won't have certain integrations chat or uh, A-B testing. If you go up to the professional tool, it's $69. That gets you A-B testing, um, some more options for custom code, and um, edit access for team members, chat, and, uh, and the plans go up from there. So annually, you have, it's the equivalent of $29 a month. So that would be, um, you would have to pay that up front. So basically, that comes out to $348 upfront payment and then for the professional is going to be $660 um, so those are going to be a 25% discount um, which is a which is a decent discount um, so the plans are a little bit more expensive than some of the others out there but you can see it's really a top-notch tool um, so assuming that budget isn't really tight I would think for a lot of people this is a tool that's well worth a hundred dollars a year or a couple hundred dollars a year depending on which plan you go with we ranked them fourth overall how did we get there well we basically gave them a nine on design a uh, nine on usability also a nine on features and a seven on price so really if you take price out of the equation it's the highest ranked tool from um, all of the tool features what, which are design usability and features so that um, averages out they're all equally weighted to an 8.5 out of 10 and uh, instapage is actually just one out of over more than 15 landing pages that we reviewed um, for this project so you can check out all the other reviews on our site and this is a link out to that you can see which is number one um, compare it with any others that you're considering and then in addition to that you can also download a free buying guide and this is the link for that and this is a PDF that you can um, that you can download and have and basically it goes over the most important factors to consider uh, when buying a landing page tool so we in the beginning looked over at 20 different tools and used all of them so we know really what uh, makes a good landing page builder what are the functions that you want what are the things to look out for and what are the best prices that are out in the market so thanks for watching again this is steven from our tech Wiz.